you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Boys, Series 2 is finally here. Guys, I am so hyped. As you guys can see on the screen, I've already started the level grind while waiting for the 1030 stuff to drop. But guys, the level grind is back. The trophies have already converted, so my 100 trophies did turn to 50 trophies. If you guys don't know how that works, I pretty much already explained to you guys that the way it's working for the Series 2 is that all your Series 1 trophies, as you saw in the top right corner, will be split by half. So the 100 that I had is now 50. It is not showing here on the screen. But as you see, I am leveling up. I have been starting the level up grind. I'm going to try to have these level 60 max rewards for you by tonight and at the worst by tomorrow morning so you guys can see all of that. Uh, I'll probably be one of the one of the first guys to do it. On YouTube, maybe not just because I have some things to do today and I have to record like 13 videos, but I will be trying my best, guys. Series 2 is here. I'm so hyped. This is like, Series 2 is a, a new series. is like the rebirth of Madden. You guys don't already know. Like the new series, new cards, new objectives, new solo challenges. Guys, we got the gauntlet. We got the gauntlet coming out. I, it is just crazy. The gaunt, I, I, All the stuff we got, the gauntlet always gives you free players, free packs. And the beauty of the gauntlet free packs is that the limited times are back in packs now. I just dropped my phone, but I don't care because Series 2 is out. The limited time cards being back in packs greatly helps because I think I have a good, I think we all have a good chance of pulling them considering the fact that literally they're not limited time anymore. Now watch, we're going to get our first limited time pulls this year coming out of a non-limited time card because they're no longer going to be in it. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Give it a big thumbs up for this Series 2 drop. I know you guys are all happy. You're all on a given mood. Go go support the video. Hit the like button. Let's get this video to 250 likes. Comment down below what you're going to be doing first in Series 2 because I'm going to be making a video on what to do first in Series 2. So make sure to like the video. Comment down below what you're going to be doing in Series 2. And hit the subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. We're grinding to 9K. Now, guys, with Gauntlet being out, with new objectives, with new level challenges, I recommend you guys go start your levels pretty soon. And for as far as limited time, the Gauntlet solos should be guaranteeing us some packs. I'd imagine they're going to be guaranteeing us some packs. So in that case, those free packs that we're going to get could easily, easily be used to maybe pull in those limited times. We got Willis back in packs. We got Michael Vick back in packs. We got, like, uh, what's his face? Dan Dierdorf back in packs. John Randall. All those guys who are limited time series one are back in packs. So that should lower their price tremendously. So I'd recommend being on stock watch this next few weeks to see how much they come down. Because if you wanted those cards, now be the time to get it. We got a new power pass I'm going to go over. 89 to 90 overall power pass. I already recorded the video on the best ones to use. You will be seeing that live probably tomorrow. Since most of you guys won't be getting it today anyways, you guys probably won't have it until at least minimum tomorrow. So I'll have that video going up for you tomorrow for who you guys should be pulling or who you guys should be using the power pass on. There's so much to go over. There's power passes, new pack odds, new packs, series of trophies that are now in the corners you can see, leveling up to level 60 grind. The level 60 grind this time guarantees you, like I think three sets of level up packs that guarantee you platinum players. So platinum players, if you guys don't know, those are quick sell cards. I think we get about three of them at 85 overalls. So it's just gonna be like 300K worth of quick sells. Plus a power pass, plus some um, the regular quick sells you guys get. We're getting a ton of coins. The new level up grind, guys, I'm way hyped. Let's get into all this content and let's break it all down one by one. All right, guys, so one of the first things I am seeing up already, if you go over to sets, since they are dropping a few things a little early here, than more, more than usual at least, we go over to set, uh, sets. They do have the brand new exchange sets already added. So we now have the 89 to 90 overall lead exchange pack. Now, the beauty of this one, although you guys might not care for it too much, is that for people who got a theme diamond they did not like, or people who got anything they did not like, like a theme diamond or a nat players that you didn't like, like, so I have DeAndre Hopkins, 80, 88, obviously. I have Corey Schlesinger, 88. So for all those nat elite cards that you did not like, I told you guys to hold on to them because you can use them into this pack here, and you can get a free 89 to 90, which will be pretty much a guaranteed full legend, or maybe like a month, I don't even know if you can get superstar cards, but for the most part, it's almost a guaranteed full legend. Or whatever else you i don't really know what you can pull out of this if it's anything in the game it could be a theme diamond it could be a much superstar it could be a full legend but it's gonna be an awesome pull never like nonetheless so i highly recommend you guys go toss in any nat card you do not need now is the time considering i know you guys probably have a few that you didn't really want to begin with so now would be the time now let's go head over and go check out the solo challenges and the objectives all right boys and it's live we got the gauntlet objectives right here so let's go to look into it earn a gauntlet one player obviously these are the new gauntlet players we got juju smith schuster leonard fournette ed oliver jr trash devin white and derwin james so so far it's looking good let's go check out the mutt level rewards let's go down to let's see mutt serious progression right serious progression okay so that is not officially live yet 
We'll go check out the Gauntlet Souls in a second. Month dedication, anything new here? All right, let's go head over to the solo challenges and go see if the Gauntlet is officially up. I'm so hyped for Series 2, finally. Let's go up all the way. We see the Gauntlet right here. So the Gauntlet, do you, ha do you have what it takes to take on the Gauntlet? These challenges will put your stick skills and strategic thinking to the test. Earn 100 stars to be rewarded with the player that you can upgrade in subsequent whatever. So milestones. 10 stars is a 71 overall plus player. 20, two star, uh, 20 stars, same thing. 10,000 coins for tier 3. 76 plus, 76 plus. So these are good chances at getting an elite here. Not gonna lie. And they're not nat either. So they're gonna be useful cards. 15,000. 81 plus elite player. Pretty awesome. Fantasy pack. 25,000 coins. 81 plus elite player. And an expert token. Now this expert token you're going to want to get. This expert token is what you're going to need later on in the year for when they drop the gauntlet master set and if you have all the tokens and you put them in you're going to be probably given like a 95 free gauntlet player so you want to be on top of that so there's rookie veteran and legend let's see rookie goes all the way down let's see pass for 150 yards 10 fewer yards so these are all objective based so pretty much you have to do whatever objective it tells you and you're going to probably want to play them on five stars to get it as quickly as possible so you're going to finish these i do not see any packs it appears like i don't know if veteran or legend guarantee packs they usually do but i won't know that till the, uh then but I am going to get all these free milestone things here. So I'm going to have to be recording all these for you guys to give you guys all the gauntlet rewards. Now, let's come on over to, again, let's back out real quick and go back over to the objective seat we got and then go over to the sets. Madden's freezing up on me here. All right, it backed me out on its own. So there we go. The update should be live. Although it mostly is. You know, EA always has a little bit of delay on stuff. Let's go on over to the mutt level rewards. Let's go down series progression here we go series two multiplayer wins so if you get all the way down again to probably 200 wins you get a grand total of 120 trophies 120 120 120 120 so 120 times five that'll give you about what 600 trophies right there so that's gonna be pretty good for the mutt master the mutt series master which i will go show you guys in a second let's go over to series two uh mutt level i mean so now we got 51 through 60 so at level 51 you're going to get an 86 plus an 86 overall fantasy pack again what you're going to want to do is take the platinum card that's going to be an 85 overall i believe yeah an 85 overall platinum that should quick sell for about like 100k so if you get all three of these plus that 84 pack right there i believe that costs 14,000 coins i recommend taking that because two things are going to happen 84 market's going to crash probably which means training is going to be very cheap for them also if you resell them for like 25k 30k you're going to get a pretty good return on your value considering you only spent 14k on them so you're going to get a, a gold premium pack you're going to get a level master token, which goes towards your Tory Holt. Tory Holt now does go to a 92 overall. You're going to get a 30 coin quick sell, a 87 to 88 power pass. That's pretty huge. Now that means that before when there was DeAndre Hopkins, Wagner, Khalil Mack, Aaron Donald, you can get more of those cards, Von Miller. So that's pretty awesome right there. I don't know what I'd use mine on because I already have Donald. I'd probably end up using it on like my, maybe my Von Miller and power him up all the way. Or I don't even know what I use it on. Maybe get rid of my Nat DeAndre Hopkins, toss that. And I don't really know what I plan on doing with that. Again, another 86 pack. So that's going to be now 200k worth of quick sells plus the 84 pack. You get another gridiron pack, another master token for your Tory Holt, another 30 coin quick sell. And at the final level, you get an 89 to 90 overall power up pass. Now that's huge. I already have a video pre-recorded for you guys going live tomorrow on the best cards to use that power pass on. That pretty much guarantees you the best cards in the game minus the brand new uh, Mutt 10 cards and the brand new Legends. Other than that, you can pretty much get any other card in the game. I already have my set in and forget it guys. And one guy that I think by far and away is the best option. Make sure to stay tuned for that video tomorrow. Now let's head on over to the store to show you guys who the Mutt Series Master is. A little underwhelming. I don't really mind him, but I don't think I'll be picking him up. I think this makes it a great opportunity to set up for John Madden. So if you go over to competitive currency, they did change the look now to blue trophies. It is Mutt Master or Series Master Melvin Gordon. His stats are underwhelming, to be completely honest with you guys. He has like an 89 speed. No, he's an 88 speed, I believe, or 89 speed maybe. And he has like a, he has a decent break tackle, but everything else kind of underwhelming. My personal recommendation, like personal recommendation, stay away from this Melvin Gordon, unless you're a Chargers fan, and use all your collectibles this series on John Madden collectibles. They're going to be very useful considering now people are starting to get their john maddens he gives you incredible boost i think you're better off waiting for like a saquon a zeke bo jackson we already have mark sound dalvin cook there's so many running backs you're better off just going with one of these you don't want to be locked to a running back that's not even he's not even he's not even the best at his position right now like stat wise he's not even the best at his position so i really wouldn't recommend getting him but these john madden collectibles i highly recommend waiting for now coming on over to let's go check out the sets real quick see what's new in there also guys remember all limited time cards are back in packs so if you're opening packs today 
there's a pretty decent chance you could pull them also guys i already went over ranking the top players that you want to be taking from the gauntlet pack you can get devin white ed oliver derwin james leonard fournette and juju smith schuster i went over their stats in that video so go check that out after this video to see which one you should take in my opinion like i said ed oliver's trash the other four are really good i ranked them now remember you don't you're not stuck to them if you don't like them you can go over to the gauntlet one exchange and you can exchange them with just one your player and a gold player that's really so cheap it's like 2k per exchange that's not bad at all you could try all of them out if you wanted to you get juju you don't like him exchange him i think that's really awesome then in years past and they wanted like an elite token or a gold token definitely a lot better now let's go over let's go check the packs real quick to see if there's any new pack odds i didn't really know the old ones but i still want to check anyways because they should have increased them let's see what the odds would be to pull a limited time today well they're no longer limited times let's go over to where, where's the base pack here right here let's check this one out view info 84 pluses or 3.2 you guys probably know if that changed i wouldn't let's see what the all pro packs are looking like 87 pluses or 3.7 so you have a 3.7 chance of pulling those old limited time cards honestly pretty bad but i still think there's a possibility that a lot of you guys could pull like michael vicks and patrick willis's today bo jackson's so stay on the lookout for those guys that is about it for the video i pretty much covered up everything in series two so you're gonna want to be doing your gauntlets leveling up new objectives stay on top of all that get your power passes and i got all these and that's just showing you guys the content now i have like a bunch of other videos ready to go up soon going over what to be doing in this power passes gone souls i got so much more coming for you guys stay tuned today so make sure to stay tuned for that turn on that noti bell make sure to subscribe to the channel to comment down below what you guys think of series two and make sure to drop a like let's get this video to 200 likes boys thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys in the next video peace